to join. I worked in three different research labs as an undergraduate. And there was one, when I took organic chemistry, I really wanted to work in an organic chemistry laboratory. Um, but one of the professors wouldn't take me, even though I was acing his class. And so um, another organic chemistry professor told me, there's a problem here, and it's not your fault. And I didn't quite understand it, but then I took, a, I took all science courses, except they forced me to take some social science and humanities courses. <laughs> I'm really the bad person. But, um, <laughs> but the course that I took, though, was uh, I looked through the catalog. What can I take in political science that, uh, that looks interesting, that could keep my interest long enough to get out of the lab? And there was a sex and politics course listed in the course listing. I thought, oh, I'll do that. And it was early feminism. And in that course, um, the woman taught us about the fact that um, you know, social perceptions and biases are out there. And, Women, particularly when they're in scientific and engineering fields, uh, often can come up with, uh, can be confronted by things that are not their fault, uh, but they, uh, but you're just going to have to adjust to them because it's not you. Uh, you're smart, and you will be able to do well, and it's it's their problem. And that was an aha moment for me. That was that was just an aha moment for me. And then it didn't matter to me anymore that there were just a few of us in the classroom. It was just it, it was just earth shattering uh, because then I I and this was in Manhattan Kansas in the 70s and so um, so then when I went off to uh, graduate school it didn't matter that there were only a few of us 